Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on uh, Stringer and Voltix of Breakout Wave 2 from 2012, of course. So on the front of the bags here have the two logos and picture of the sets that come within, and also with electric plant behind them, of course, and also the names of each set and the game points for the online game and a little choking hazard low and then hang on a sec <coughs> bless me and then anyways have the, the age group so that number amount of pieces and then clip go on to the backs of each of which See a picture of the sets in different positions, actual size of the helmets, and also the features of each one, and how the game points are used for the online game, and usual warnings, everything. And now onto the manuals, which same picture as on the front and everything. Points for the online game. And then add win on the online survey. Add of Lego Club, add for the Marvel build a figure sets, which I will also review for a throwback, future throwback Thursday. Then add for HeroFactory.com, add of Nex and Nex 4 which I previously reviewed. And then the combination model of that the two make. And the pieces that come with the set in the last step. First off is the third and last version of Stringer, or Jimmy Stringer, of course. Although he was a little bit different than that of the first two versions of him, but at least that. But what's major different is that the color scheme with black and blue. In previously, he was black and orange, and black and uh, key orange, of course. But one good guess I have, which is probably as good as a lot of you, is if he did continue on into Breakout and Evasion from Below, then I think the secondary color also could have been either a red or even green, or either one. Well, either one. So the legs of which simplistic of Hero Factory sets, of course, and also do you get the traditional cuffs that every hero in this wave all did. And of course, instead of all black limbs, that the ones for the legs, upper limbs are in darkish gray, but on the arms are in black. Although I think it could have also been in black to fit his main color scheme, but yeah. But for his chest plate piece, of which is pretty much the same which the same chess play as all the other hero sets all did, but instead in translucent blue, kind of cool, and also uh, which some printing representing his uh, some sonic, uh, sonic sound blasts, of course, and fitting to his theme of sonic sound blasts, of course, as these all new, or what was new to him, or all new at the time and exclusive to him was these like armor add-on pieces that are like amplifiers of course which kind of interesting which never came in any other sets so although it can kind of work out for mocking obviously and then for the lower arms of it, which are just the regular lower limb piece and traditional hand piece in black like the previous versions did and as for the head and helmet of which Oops. Ooh, whoops. There. Then the helmet piece of which, or headpiece, blue clitorian head, different than the other two of which were reddish orange. And helmet piece, 
Same as from 1.0, of course, just like some of the other heroes in Breakout all did. But if he continued on into a brain attack and invaded from below, then I think it would have looked a little eerily similar, but whatever. And as for the main weapon of which, which is comprised of the new launcher pieces, but in silver, of course, and Baldzaka joined in there and holding the like 2.0 shield piece, but in silver, which quite nice there. And also nice to have for mocking, and, and of course can shoot it like all the other ones. I guess it's kind of like his uh, 1.0 version of the of his sound blaster, but extra heavy duty. But at least it's not giving him hollow armor, obviously. And back of which, not at all any back protection. Although I think could have included an extra foot piece, probably in blue or black, to cover that, like some of the other ones did. And what's kind of odd is. Since he of the Alpha Team, I think he could have been in larger size of which, instead of just this shorter size of which. And then let either uh, Evo or, or let, or no, no, Waka or anyone be in like this. But at least this just had to be an excuse, but whatever. Maybe it just didn't matter. And then next to which is Voltix. Oh, which quite a large mess of colors, a large mess of colors, like almost all of the colors of the rainbow, but except for green, of course. It's even though at that time he was being called the Rainbow One, of course. But although, uh, what kind of stands out are his purple pieces, which I'll mention in a sec. And also, of course, he, which is who helped make the breakout happen, of course, with Von Nebula's black hole weapon, of course. So, for the legs of which, quite simplistic of Hero Factory builds, of course, and also just like what some of the other sets of the wave also have are these newer rat on pieces, first used on the Captain America buildable figure, but at least nice to see here, nice to see on him, of course. And also the five long armor piece that is also in gunmetal gray, of course. There's, and also other limb pieces in red, nice to have. And also is the O-Whips. And also get the usual hero chest plate piece, but in purple, which nice to have for mocking, of course. And also, underneath is the smallish armor piece, which, although I think the lower one with the ball joints in the middle could have worked out better, but whatever. And also, also another one of those armor rat on pieces, but in purple, also nice to see. And arm pieces, shorter limb pieces, and yeah. And of course, one of which that leads out to the uh, tentacle piece, the kind of, but in yellow, Oops. but in yellow, even though we previously had it in some other colors, but never blue or whatever, but of course in green for Atlant regular green in Atlantis, and yeah, and of course the feature is you can spin this around to, of course, represent his electricity field themed, of course. Uh, sorry about the background noise, but and so now on to this other arm, kind of the same, but with the launcher pieces and Zamersphere in yellow, quite nice, and also and of course get para tubes both in clear and blue, like we had with Stormer 2.0, and also in red, red ones that lead to his head, and also blue that lead to his back, of course, and so for his. Uh, head of which, or helmet of which, just the same as uh, Black Phantom and Speed of Demons, but in Gunmetal Gray, of course, and also nice use of different pieces add to the sides of which, and also these 
interesting new electric pieces here, which which are kind of similar to that of like uh, Surge's uh, electric shooter pieces, but instead it's a little bit smaller and two connector points to it. Really nice and great for mocking, of course. And if you look on the back, you see uh, another foot piece there to as as back coverage and a couple more of those pieces. So is there and a lips. And if you look over there, you can tilt forward like so. And he has large jolt going on. And so now stringer has his cuffs out and ready to cuff him. And there, caught him. So now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these two of which are quite cool good sets for the time, of which like get plenty of nice recolors and also good to see Stringer as one as another version of which and kinda of interesting that he may have had blue instead of orange and all, but at least it's a kind of a good change that I like and well take so which quite a lot of good colored pieces there, especially the purple pieces, obviously, and also at least plenty of good, good recolors for mocks, of course, and yeah. Just even though it may have been odd to have Stringer in the shorter size of which, but although I think, but of course, that's just me, but yeah. And so now, if any of y'all have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.